very first date and so were her family for single was she a 92 stone overweight cried Helen he's handsome he's asked me to dine at nine o'clock round at his place and cleaning her teeth on a half submerged tree she put lots of hot mud on her face <laughs> did you meet and did he remark on your size said her daughter while swimming and all he could see was my nose and my ears and my eyes I fell in love with his splendid moustache all plastered down with red mud he fell in love with the parts he could see and told me his first name was Dud <laughs> Said her father, I think you should go for a run. You really should lose a few stone. Just 15 or 20 could make all the difference to marriage or living alone. Poor Helen went running with tears in her eyes, the blazing hot sun on her back. But after 10 miles, she was still the same size and her mud pack had started to crack. Like a large melting jelly, she ran with a wobble. Another 10 miles and she'd started to hobble, wondering why she'd taken the trouble. For her chins were still treble, no sign of a double. Poor Helen just wept in the shade of a tree, for she knew that she'd never be lean. Then she heard the loud thunder of feet running by. It was Dudley, all covered with steam. His splendid moustache drooped down to his knees, as did his stomach and chin. Then he slid to a halt and gasped with a wheeze, It's no good, I'll never be thin. Who'd want a lover who's quite so outsized? Said Helen, did somebody call? And now we're together, the size of your thighs makes mine, by comparison, small. Now they are married and happy as mud with a big grown-up daughter called Kate, who's got no idea with parents that size that she's 92 stone overweight. 